What's going on, guys? It's Dragon to get back again for our Duel Links content video, and today I have a very, very funny deck today. Um, it is kind of a meme in a way, but I do actually enjoy it a lot. Is it's gonna be revolved around this new card, which is Super Armored Robot Armored, Super <laughs> Super Armored Robot Armed Black Iron C. It's a very interesting card. I really, really like it. Now this deck is tough. It's not the most it's obviously not gonna be consistent as hell. Um, but it is, it's, it's fun. I've enjoyed it. I've actually quite enjoyed it. It's just kind of, I don't want to call it a meme deck, because usually when I call it meme decks, you tend to be, I kind of mean they're kind of bad, but I can't, it's, it's, okay, it's not a great deck, but it is a very fun deck to use. And um, basically, the center around this boy here, which is if you have three or more monster, insect monsters, with the same name, the same number in your graveyard, with the same name in your graveyard, sorry, you can target any number of them, special in this card, and then equip this to them. Then you can send one monster equipped to this card, by this effect to the graveyard to destroy all monsters your opponent controls with attack greater than or equal to the attack with sent to that grave or sent to the graveyard so you can literally summon this guy and grab all three the same level the same name as Texan. you that will clog up your back row completely but you know, i wouldn't recommend it too much to grabbing two is usually pretty good and um yes yeah, so the basically the rest of this deck is basically just to stall the granted kite road actually probably would have been kind of not too bad in here and um, i'm not gonna use kite road um but yes, this is an interesting deck. Um, so for the deck that I got, this is a deck completely on my own concoction. Um, so for the deck, we have three Infernity Beats, three Super Armored Robot, you know, etc. Three Flyboot Flying, Karen Curry, number one. And three X Saber, Ever's Blade. One Galaxy Cyclone, two Cosmic Cyclones. One Tribute to the Doomed, one... Um, two Dark Cores, one Econ, and one God, Treasure's Trap Bolt. Now this deck does fall. This deck can be easily shut down by back row. Um, that's why we got the Cosmic Cyclones and Galaxy Cyclones. Oh, yeah, for the extra deck, though, we have Vermilion Dragon Mech, one Bryonic, one Aramades, one Ar White or Dolphin, one Stardust Charge Warrior, and one Hatia Summon. I fully don't expect to ever Synchro Summon that much with this deck. It's not about the Synchro Summoning. It's there. Because I'm using a Friendly Boom, it's there. Um, so... Basically, the whole purpose of the Dark Horrors and the Tribute to Dooms is for Infernity Beetle, so it can empty out my hand, so I can get rid of my hand, so I can Tribute that for two tuners. <clears throat> Not even just to use the two tuners, but just to honestly have them so I can someone get one engraved, then get two on the board. And if they get popped, we have Armored Robot. Armored Robot, we have Armored Guy, and then we have him in the hand. And then we can go in and activate his effect that way. But on the off chance that that doesn't happen, we do have the Synchro Summon. So Flying Karma Curry, when it gets destroyed, it can replace itself with another Flying Karma Curry, which is, you know, etc. Yo, that's a great way, easy way of getting three of them in the grave. Same with Amor's Blade. Um, this card is destroyed by battle. You can special one next saber from your deck, so you this gets destroyed, you special on this guy, he gets destroyed again, and you special with the third one, etc. So a lot of different ways of getting certain cards in the graveyard. We are using Heavy Starter, which can screw me over in some sense, um, but it's a very easy way of getting this guy in hand, um, right off the bat, rather than clutching straws trying to draw him. Um, but yeah, we have Econ and Treasure Chapel. I think this deck could be tuned a little bit to maybe include a little bit of extra protection uh, in the back row sense. But, um, I think it should be fine. Uh, I think it should be fine. Um, but yeah, so this is a very fun deck. Now, if we come up against anything meta, per se, we might be screwed as hell. But I think we'll see how things go. Uh, and see what we can do. Go ahead and jump in with the first duel. Alright guys, let's go ahead and jump in with the first duel with our little concoction here. Our little weird deck. <laughs> fun deck. And let's see if we can, uh... Pull ourselves a win or two, or pull ourselves a couple win at least. Um, be nice. Get actually get this to work. Um, yeah. We're gonna go second, which is actually kind of good. Um, you know, going first isn't actually terrible because you can set something and then end your. Oh, shut up, game. You can set something and end your turn. Ah. Uh, heavy start. I've done multiple tests with this deck. Not multiple, but I've done a few duel. Oh, a few duels with this deck and um. Let that in my turn. Uh, I'll set Cosmic, maybe. And, um... It's the first time that, um... I haven't actually opened up with the big boy. Um... That's why I know Draw Sense High Level will be slightly better. But... Okay. <laughs> that's interesting. We could go for a Synchro Summon, honestly, if we really, really wanted to. But I think I'm gonna hold it off. Um... He's just gonna keep setting monsters for some reason. I might actually... Oh, game. Come on, that's gross. Um... Let's tribute to the doomed. Okay, let's tribute to the doomed. Let's get you engraved. Let's hit the middle one and s 
Now, granted, this is going to trigger race groomer. Uh, it's end turn. This is going to start triggering shadow game. It's just not too fantastic. It puts us kind of on like a time limit in a way, but that's okay. Um, I'm gonna just like that. This is some sort of weird Bernie's not not stall deck. It's a burn deck with shadow game, um, which is interesting. All right, game. Okay, I'm gonna need you to like let me over here. So let's you know what? Let's Fernity Beetle. Let's actually let's uh Squire Mage. Let's start clearing house a bit. And this is not the best. I wouldn't call this the best decision in the world, um, per se. Or, yeah, I guess. <laughs> That's an interesting way to take it. It's an interesting way to take it. Um. Okay, I didn't expect him. Like, I guess because he's got ska he's got yeah i understand why he did that because he's got like likes a worm worm and grace grimmer and stuff like that scrap goblin which both which all don't actually actually i don't know about scrap goblin no i don't think so which all doesn't affect which all arrow mates all just completely shuts down same with lomas so i understand why he scooped there um i understand why um i thought he might have stayed but kind of Glad we didn't have to fight this weird concoction of a deck. Let's go ahead and jump in with the second duel. Okay, so let's go in with the second one. Um, it's interesting. I actually, when I made this deck, I kind of put the because I was using a Fernity Beetle. I didn't expect to actually have to. Um, I didn't expect that I was going to be synchro summoning at all. But I've actually. That's only that's the second duel that I think. Or it's third. No, sorry, the third duel. I think that I've actually synchro summoned. Um in so that's interesting where do they go for big boy okay it's interesting see this is more this is actually believe it or not a pretty decent hand um now i could do it a cosmic cyclone uh, i could really do it one of those especially with the back row i don't know what this deck is um i don't know what this deck is um i don't know what this deck Wow. Uh, see, I'm excited for the super armored guy, but also the back row is okay. That's inherently gross. Um, oh, I can't. I can Brionic if I want to. I could Brionic. Uh, Brionic sends it back to the hand. I could Brionic. Would actually do that. Um, we're gonna activate flame crumb curry number one. Of course, we can't put it in the fence position, but it doesn't matter. So we can synchro summon right now if we really, really want to. I'm kind of hoping for the cosmic cyclone because I think, even though cosmic cyclone would be a great way to get rid of these back row, I think getting rid of power guardians would be like phenomenally good. Or we could draw that second flame crumb curry, which is awful. I think the best decision for us to do is to just synchro summon. Or he could activate. Um, that trash card. What's it called? We still do will and activate that piece of garbage. Um, not so strike armor. Interesting. Okay. Interesting. Interesting. Um, what are we doing? Are we doing Brionic? Are we doing Brionic? Brionic. Doing. Yeah, we're doing Brionic. We're doing Brionic. Uh, absolutely doing Brionic. Um. Um, we're doing Brionic. Um, so I have a plan. Uh, I have a plan. So we discard. Let's. Oh, we could. Let's do that. And uh, no. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna return this to the hand, and we're gonna return this to the hand all right we're gonna turn the, those both of those to the hand so i have a very decent plan very well that's fine i have a very decent plan of how we're gonna get rid of this and then and then right we can go this and we're gonna grab two and we could do this we're gonna two and then we win and then we automatically win granted if he doesn't actually have 
So we ditch this to the grave, and boom. That's how we scoop up the dub. And that's how the deck works. That's the perfect that's a perfect world scenario on how that deck actually works. Um granted you will never get you will nine times ten not get duels like that. Um But yeah. I'm pretty happy with that. That was a good duel. I I like fighting I gotta say I like well I gotta say he didn't even have Sheehan. Okay, so this was just a very I don't know if it's that he doesn't have six amps. He doesn't have the big boys, but I like fighting duelists that don't have exactly meta decks that we can just kind of like trade blows back and forth with kind of fun duels, if you know what I mean? Like just kind of fun decks that we can kind of trade back and forth. Nothing, we don't have to make the competitive or anything super serious, just to have fun with the game, because that's all I care about really in the game. And that was kind of it. So yeah, we're jumping with the third duel. Okay, so two quick duels under our belt. Um, really, really happy. I gotta say that I will chuck this. Um, um, I will chalk this up to, I will chalk this up to a win, uh, of a, as far as the deck goes, because this is the first, the first actually real proper deck that I have made myself that has actually worked. <laughs> and I'm, I guess I'm kind of happy about that in a way. Um, I wouldn't necessarily call it an amazing deck, but you know, at least it works in a sense. Anyway, okay, so we don't have big boy. We do not have big boy, but we do have synchro fusion. Synchro fusions. Well, we have fusion materials, but we have. Double back row with six Sam Matt and Treacherous Chapel. Um, all right, let's come curry it up, and we'll just end our turn. Let's come curry it up. Let's see if um. All right, all right, okay. Econ, let's let's not show our hand. Treasure trap all. Trap all. Alright. I'm fine. I'm fine with that. Um, I'm fine with that because it means that it can't floodgate my big boy if we manage to do some, if we miraculously pull him at this point. I'm not seeing it too much here. Um, and there it is. Okay, so what's the plan? We can heart summon it, but we're not going to. We. I like... Um, let's just swing in here. Let's try and fish out the deck here, cause we could. Well, disruption. Okay, I'm all right with that. I'm okay with that. Yeah, I'm okay with that. Gravekeepers. Ow! Never mind. I'm not okay with that. Ah, you. Um. All right. Not okay with that. Not too. <laughs> Not too happy about that right now. I might actually have to econ um, with Ember's Blade um, because I don't want to lose um, completely. Or I could just descendant. If you're gonna descendant, I want to do this right away. Because yes, you can destroy my monsters, and that'll be good because I want to have them in grave. But I'm not having you do that to me. Um, while Ember's Blade is like taking that L, you know what I mean? play is really going for that L. So I think what we should do is we should go for a bit of synchro action. I did not expect this to rely on this much synchro summoning. I'm kind of salty about it in a way. Because <laughs> I wanted to like chalk it up to the... Uh, I wanted to chalk it up to basically just wanted to use the big boy. We have Fernity Beal. Oh, I kicked in Deidre so I probably kicked in Necro Valley. So that means that um, your boy, big boy, is useless. His effect is useless. I can still use him as a regular monster, but his effect is useless because I can't move a card to a different place. Uh, but yeah. Magicalized Fusion. Not too fantastic, I'm going to be honest. Um, it's gonna, just going to go for what's it called, though. Yeah, Great Keeper Supernatural List. And what's the plan? Oh, okay, Narco Valley. Yeah, we're we're really useless right now. Um, if he sets nothing, we can easily win. Oh, never mind. He's got a monster. Uh, which he's gonna be able to can grab a monster. There's no monster for him to grab. Oh no, that's not a magician. 
Oh, gross, dude. Uh. Card is activated. No, I can't do it. I have to let it go. Um. I have to let it go. Wrap. Um. I just gotta let a meta card to his hand. Uh, I think I lose, dude. That's fine. Yeah, it's Grip Creeper's spy to hand. Um. I can't, I, that normally would be good, but I can't do anything about it because what's it called? Cannot be destroyed by card effects, though. Right. Can they be targeted by card effects? This is such a risky bit move. Does this work? Does this work? It's destroyed by card effects, right? Hmm. Huh? Did he actually leave? No way he left, right? There's no way. No way he leave. Would he, would he leave? Would he leave? Nah. Nah, 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 nah. There's no way, right? He wouldn't leave. <laughs> yeah, okay. Sure. <laughs> I will take it. I'm having... So much fun with this deck. All right, guys, we're gonna try, uh, try one more. Um, we're gonna try our chance at one more. Um, let's see if we can basically use our armored big boy again one more time. Cause I rely on the same cross a lot more, but I than I thought I would. But I think that's okay. Um, honestly, I'm really proud. Of not proud. I won't like stroke my own ego and kind of way. Not that type of thing. And I want to say proud, but I'm happy that I managed to like kind of come up with a deck on my own that somewhat works. Um, now I could Infernity Beetle. I'd have to set all of those. I don't know if I really want to do that per se. Um. Okay, gross. Um. I have plenty of options to deal with all of this. Um, okay, okay. Um, first things first. Is it a it's Canadian? Second thing. E, and then E, and then third thing. <laughs> um. Summon him attack position, and then let's go ahead and swing it. And then that's how we do it. That's gonna be how we do it. Um, if yo, if I draw an Infernity Beetle, that would be pretty good. Um, again, I'd be synchro. Oh, sorry, guys, I'd be synchro relying cards in your hand. Um, but we just win though, don't we? So, that's some grab from the grave, right? Just grab from the deck. Yeah. Yeah. And then we. None of these guys help us win right away. I think we. St oh, do we start a charge warrior or do we Bryonic? We have to Bryonic because we need to make sure that we rely on Bryonic for the win. Oh, but we could have started a charge warrior. We should have started a charge warrior. Why didn't we start a. Oh, I'm an idiot. And it's fine. I should have started a charge warrior. Um, because. Uh, could have. Delete. Alright, so let's see here if he sets a monster. Come on, big boy. Ah, uh, no, sorry, guys. Uh, Alright, well. Let's win then. Cool. <laughs> and we went cool. Alright, we didn't we only relied on Big Boy once or whatever, but Yeah, I think that was a good deck. I really enjoyed that, so I hope you guys enjoy this deck. Don't please don't dislike bomb me to hell. <laughs> um <laughs> I know you guys are great and everything. I know you guys are great, so I know you, you won't do that, but yeah. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video and things there. So I hope you guys enjoyed the vid. We hit that like button, enjoy hit the subscribe button. And uh, yeah. I will catch you guys. I'll follow me on Twitter, that's down below in the description, sorry. And I'll catch you guys next vid. Peace.